Hello everyone, welcome back to Chinda DIY. And today's video, I'll be showing you how to crochet a raffle bow top. It is really easy pattern if you guys know some basic stitches like single crochet and double crochet. And in this video, I also showing you how to measuring by yourself step by step. If you guys wearing size small, medium, large, you also can make this top too. Okay, now let's get into the video. First, we are going to make the top part. To begin, make a slip knot. And chain 52. It is equal 10 inches length. It measuring from one underarm to another underarm. If you guys want it bigger, please add more chains. Remember, make sure that your foundation chains is the even number. After you got your desired fit, next, we are going to make the Suzette stitch. For row 1, skip 1 chain and make single crochet into the next chain. To make single crochet, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through the loop. So now, you have 2 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through 2 loops. After you have made a single crochet, next, Make double crochet into the same stitch with single crochet. To make double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. So now, you have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through 2 loops. And yarn over, pull through 2 loops again. After you have made 2 stitches in the same loop, next, skip 1 chain. And make a single crochet and a double crochet into the same loop. Keep repeating this into every chain until you have two chains left. Then I will make you back again. After you had 2 chains remain, next, skip 1 chain and make single crochet into the last chain. So this is what the first row of Suzette stitch looks like. Next, for row 2, chain 1, turn your work. And we are going to make single crochet and double crochet into the stitch near chain 1. Thank you. 
after you have made two stitches in the same loop next skip one stitch and make single crochet and double crochet into the next stitch remember in this pattern we always skip the double crochet stitch then make a single crochet and a double crochet into a single crochet stitch Keep repeating this into every stitch until you have two last stitches remain, then I will meet you back again. After you had two last stitches remain, then skip one stitch and make single crochet into the last stitch. For the next next row, we are going to repeat row 2 until you reach row 35. It is equal 7.5 inches length. If you guys want your top longer, please add more rows. After you got your desired fit, then chain one and leave a long tail of the yarn. It keeps for sewing. Next, make the second side by repeat the same thing like the first side. We are going to sew both sides together. Remember, make sure that both pieces are on the same size of the stitch.
after you sewing both sides together next we are going to make the back side of the top to begin attach the yarn and chain one next for row one make single crochet into every stitch until the end of the row then i will meet you back again Next, for row 2, chain 2, turn your work and make double crochet into every stitch until the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, for the next next row, we are going to repeat row 2 until you reach row 6, then I will meet you back again. After you reach row 6, next for row 7, make single crochet into every stitch until the end of the row, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Next, repeat the same thing to the other side. Next, try the top on your body and use stitch marker to mark at the end the arm part. We are going to make the strap for the top. You guys can count the number of the stitches again to make sure that both sides have the same size. Next, count 12 stitches away from where the sewing stitch is. It is equal 3 inches length and use stitch marker to mark at the 12th stitch. Make sure that you mark at the single crochet stitch. Then count the number of the stitches between your both stitch marker. For my top, I have 18 stitches. And then count 18 stitches the same from where the stitch marker is forward to the sewing stitch part. 
and your stitch marker to mark at the 18th stitch. Like I said, make sure you mark at the single crochet stitch. Because we only working on a single crochet stitch and skip the double crochet stitch. Next, I am start with the right strap. To begin, attach the yarn into the stitch where we mark. And chain 1. Next, for row 1, we start with a decreasing stitch by make the ball crochet decrease. To make the ball crochet decrease, yarn over, insert the hook into the same loop with chain 1, yarn over and pull through the loop. So now, you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through 2 loops, then skip 1 stitch and continue insert the hook into the single crochet stitch. Yarn over and pull through the loop. So now, you have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. So this is how I decrease for the Suzette stitch. Use stitch marker to mark at the decreasing stitch. Next, make the ball crochet into the same stitch that we just decreased. After you have made a double crochet, next, make Suzette stitch into the single crochet stitch. So when I said Suzette stitch, it means that we are going to skip one stitch and make single crochet and double crochet into the same loop. Keep repeating this into every stitch until you reach the stitch marker, then I will meet you back again. After you reach the stitch near stitch marker, remove stitch marker and make single crochet into the stitch that we mark. Next, for row 2, chain 1, turn your work. And make Suzette stitch until you have 4 last stitches, then I will meet you back again. After you had 4 last stitches remain, next we are going to make decrease. Skip 1 stitch and make single crochet into the next stitch. After you have made a single crochet, then make the ball crochet decrease into the same stitch with single crochet. After you have 2 loops on your hook, next skip 1 stitch and continue insert the hook into the stitch that we mark. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. I call this Suzette stitch decrease. Next, for row 3, chain 1, turn your work. And skip a double crochet stitch and make Suzette stitch into the single crochet stitch. Keep repeating this into every stitch until the end of the row, then I will meet you back again.
after you reach the end of the row next for row 4 we are going to repeat row 2 by chain 1 turn your work and make suzette stitch into every stitch until you have 4 last stitches then we are going to make suzette stitch decrease again Next, for row 5, we are going to repeat row 3 by chain 1, turn your work. And skip one stitch and make Suzette stitch into a single crochet stitch until the end of the row. For row 6 until row 24, chain 1, turn your work, and make Suzette stitch until the end of the row. If you guys want your strap smaller, please keep decreasing by repeat row 2 and row 3 until you got the size of the shoulder that you want. Then stop decreasing and make no more roll of Suzette stitch until you reach the top of the shoulder. For the length of my strap, measuring from row 1 until row 24, it is equal 5.5 inches length. If you guys want your strap longer, please add more rows. And for the size of the top of my shoulder, it is equal 2.5 inches width. Next, we are going to make the left strap. It is the same thing like the right strap. The difference is we are working reverse from the right strap. So for the right strap, we start with a decreasing stitch. And for the left strap, we start with no more Suzette stitch and end with a decreasing stitch. To begin, attach the yarn into the stitch that we mark. And chain 1. Next, for row 1, make Suzette stitch until you have 4 last stitches remain. Then I will meet you back again. After you had 4 last stitches remain, skip 1 stitch and make single crochet into the next stitch. Then make the ball crochet decrease into the same stitch with single crochet. After you got 2 loops on your hook, then skip 1 stitch and continue inside the hook into the stitch that we mark. Yarn over, pull through the loop. So now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Next, for row two, chain one. Turn your work. Skip one stitch and make suzette stitch into the single crochet stitch until the end of the row.
after you reach the end of the row, for row 3, chain 1, turn your work and make suzette stitch until you have 4 last stitches then we are going to make suzette stitch decrease like the right strap Next, for row 4, we are going to repeat row 2. And for row 5, we are going to repeat row 3. Next, for row 6, repeat row 2. Make sure that you keep decreasing until you have the same number of the stitches like the right strap. For my right strap, after I have made 5 rows of decreasing stitch, I still had 13 stitches remain. For the last strap, I must have 13 stitches remain also. Next, for row 7 and row 24, chain 1, turn your work and make suzette stitch into every stitch until the end of the row. Remember, make sure that both straps have the same number of the stitches and the same number of the rows. So after you finished the front strap, next we are going to make the back strap. First, we are going to measuring the size of the end arm. Measuring from your front side of the end arm to the back side of the end arm. For my end arm measurement, it is equal 3.5 inches. Then use stitch marker to mark at the measurement that you want. Make sure that you mark at the single crochet stitch. Next, repeat the same thing to the other side. For the back strap, we are going to repeat the same thing like the front strap. The difference is we are going to repeat the front left strap to the back right strap.
and repeat the front right strap to the back left strap. For my back strap, I only made 3 rows of decreasing stitch because after I have made 3 rows of decreasing stitch, I already got 13 stitches remain. It's the same number like my front strap. So if your back strap still look bigger than the front strap, please keep decreasing until you got the same number of the stitches like the front strap. After you got the same number of the rows like the front strap, then chain 1 and leave a long tail. It keeps for sewing both strap together. Flip both strap wrong side out and sew it together.
Next, for the back side of the last strap, we are going to repeat the same thing like the front right strap. After you sew both straps together, next, we are going to make the raffle sleeves. To begin, attach the yarn into the corner part. And chain 1. Next, for row 1, make single crochet into every stitch until you reach the corner part, then I will meet you back again. After you reach the stitch near corner part, then we are going to make single crochet decrease. To make single crochet decrease, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through the loop. So now you have two loops on your hook, then continue inside the hook into the next loop, yarn over, pull through the loop. So now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Next, continue make single crochet into every stitch around the sleeve until you reach the other corner. Then we are going to make decrease again. After you have two loops on your hook, then continue insert the hook into the chain 1 stitch, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Next, for row 2, chain 2, then make a double crochet. After you have made a double crochet, then we are going to make the double crochet increase by make two stitches in the same loop. Keep repeating this into the next two stitches. After you have made two stitches in the same loop for three times, then we are going to make the ball crochet increase 3 stitches in the same loop. Keep repeating this into the next 2 stitches. After you have made the ball crochet increase 3 stitches in the same loop for 3 times, keep repeating this into every stitch around the sleeve until you reach the chain 2 stitch, then I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch into the chain 2 stitch to connect the row. Next, for row 3 until row 5, chain 2, and make the ball crochet into every stitch around the sleeve until you reach the chain 2 stitch, then slip stitch into the chain 2 stitch to connect the row.
if you guys want to sleep longer, please add more rows. After you reach row 5, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Next, we are going to repeat the same thing to the other side. First, attach the yarn into the corner part and make single crochet into every stitch around. Then start increasing for the ruffle sleeve. After you finish the ruffle sleeves, next, we are going to make single crochet around the neckline. To begin, attach the yarn and chain 1. Then make single crochet into every stitch until you reach the corner part. Then we are going to make increase. After you have made increase, then continue make single crochet into every stitch around until you reach the back side of the top, then I will meet you back again. For at the corner part, we are going to make increase. After you have made increase, then continue make single crochet into every stitch around the top.
After you reach the end of the row, then slip stitch, chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Next, we are going to repeat the same thing to the other side by start from the bottom of the top around until you reach the front neckline. Next, for the back lace, make 300 chains. It is equal 47 inches length. If you guys want it longer, please add more chains. And now your fall bow top is done. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and leave a positive comment down below. Stay safe and stay healthy and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.